it's a really cool phone. I mean, I didn't wait in line. I I, uh, I know. I'm sure you. Got I did pre-order though, 3 a.m. last week. So. Uh, so okay. So the the issues that I hear about on this yeah. are. A, does the, does the uh, face ID does the face ID actually work? It does actually work, and I tried it, you know, wearing glasses and a hat and completely in the dark. Uh, okay, a couple business use cases, though. Sometimes people like to use their phone under the yes. desk at, like, a, a meeting. Yes. And they don't want it, people to see them emailing or whatever they're doing. Yeah, that's going to be a little and tricky. And you to be able to open it with your thumb. So nobody, but now if I was under the desk, I'd have to do this in the middle of the meeting uh, so people yeah, can see Yeah, there are me. definitely cases. You can think of a scenario in your car. You know, you want to re you're driving. You obviously want to keep your attention right. on the road. Sometimes, some of us sometimes reach with the fingerprint. You know, you can't do that now. Can't do you that. shouldn't okay. be doing that anyway when well, you're, you're driving it. You're absolutely right. No, but, but the fingerprint <laughs> yes. you could just do anyway. But, but you could you type could, in a code. You can can't still you type in the code. Yeah, but you're desk. not going to do that when you're driving. But yes, you don't have to use Face ID. You can use a standard passcode. And of course, the passcode's your backup if for whatever reason Face ID doesn't. Now, the okay. photos are, are very high res now, right? You need yeah. more memory? <laughs> well, it, it, it helps. I mean, I that's a 256. Two big issues. Yeah. So, um, let's go battery first, since most of our, our, yeah. our, our business viewers care about that, I yeah. think. Yeah. How long? For real, now that you've uh, had it for a while. Well, I didn't do a formal test. Um, it seems to go all day, which, of course, in, any phone you should these days. They I am a though. little, I'm watching it, though. You know, I, it, it has wireless charging. Right. And I put it on the pad, and I was a little disturbed this morning. Uh, I was not where I thought it should be. So that's something. What do you mean? He went to sleep, and he woke up, and it wasn't And it was not charged? fully charged. Ooh. So I don't know if that's the charger. Okay. Well, you know, I was using a third-party Belkin charger, okay. wireless charger. That's a thing, because usually I could charge this, this guy in about an hour or two. This is, the wireless charging is very slow. And that's something I'm actually going to be watching, because I was a little. Okay. And then with a, there's no button. No home button, correct. Yes. And how difficult is that well, for those? Well, it depends what you're going to do. For simple things like getting your home screen, it's very simple to swipe up from the bottom. I got that right away. When you get into some of the other navigational things, uh, trying to get to your app switcher or multitasking. Someone compared it to Snap. You know yeah. how Snap, the app, is, you know, you have yeah, to yeah. really get into, like, knowing what you're doing? Yeah, you got to sort of swipe up, pause for a second, then you're in a multitasking the screen. Then, if you want to actually get rid of an app, you have to press down and and you know okay. then swipe Did you up. You do this or the eight or eight plus, real quick. That, this. Yeah, I yeah. I like you know I'm going all for it. Thousand okay. dollar iPhone. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.